Hi, this is Kerry with Trail Traveler, and today I'm going to talk about five things I bet you didn't know about the Jeep JL. Stay right there. We'll be right back. Now, this is a 2018 Jeep Unlimited Wrangler Rubicon, and this particular one came with the steel bumper group. Now, uh, one thing that they talk about in the marketing and on the website and when you're putting together a package with the steel bumper group is that it is winch ready. Yeah, it's not. It's not. It really isn't. The only thing that's winch ready about this is this facade comes off and you can put a fair lead on there. In terms of mounting a winch, no. You have to pull the bumper off. Then you have to get an optional bumper or an optional uh winch plate to go underneath this that attaches to the frame which can run 250 to 300 dollars so on top of paying a premium for the steel bumper group you also have to pay about 300 dollars for the winch mount before you can even put a winch on here so to call this winch ready is bs it is winch capable maybe but it is not winch ready it's going to cost you a few hundred dollars to make this thing actually winch capable. Number two on my list is this cover back here. Now it slides in and actually latches in the back. But what a lot of people don't know is that when you close the gate, it comes over and holds this down. So once the back is locked, there's no way to pull that cover up. So anything that you have underneath here, like your all important toilet paper and cleaning supplies is gonna be protected and secure. So I really like that. If you're the type that likes to run with the top off and the doors off, you need ways of protecting your stuff. And all you have to do is put it underneath here and lock the door and all your valuables are safe inside of here. So number three on my list is all the different Torx bolts that are on here to take the top off, to take the back off, to put the window down, to take the doors off. You'll usually see a number next to it, in this case, like T50. Well, the tools you need are included with the JL. You get this nice little ratchet set, you get the different tools for it, just pull out the right one, find which one it goes into, and you're good to go. So all the tools you need to do, uh, all the Torx bolts on here are included. Uh, I think that's a great little bargain. When I got this baby at CarMax, that was one of the first things I checked around for. Looked in the center console, looked in the glove box. This was nowhere to be found. I'm like, hey guys, where's the tool kit? And they're like, oh, oh, they ordered it for me. No extra cost. I mean, least they could do when you're buying something like this. So understand all the tools we need are included with it and most of them are gonna have numbers to tell you which bit to use. Now, one of the other things we talked about was securing your valuables under the back hatch. Well, another thing you can do is use the key, which will lock the glove box, and it will also lock the center console. So, two additional places where you can secure your valuables. This is a nice one. I don't think too many people know about that. So just put your stuff in there and it's nice and secure. Now the last thing on my list today is the parking brake or the parking gear override. So if for some reason you have no power or you, you can't get it out of park and you need to move the vehicle, you don't have, uh, you know, it's not, you can't, you can't get it out of gear. Get a little screwdriver and take this panel and pull it off. And you reach inside here, just reach in here, pull the orange handle, pull it back until it stops. And now the parking gear is disengaged. To release it, pull on it, it releases and goes back. So put the panel back on. And you're good to go. 
So that's my five things I bet you didn't know about the Jeep JL. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. Always appreciate the subscribers out there. Thanks for watching. Stay safe on the trails, and I'll catch you next time.